Well, welcome back, everybody. This is Sharon once again. Can't get no rest around here. Jamal ride me like a old red mule. But uh, you see, I'll just claim up there. Take a second to read that. And, oh, I guess I need to introduce my host, Donna. This is your co-host, Jamal. We're back at it again. Yeah, yeah, we have a story out of New York. Old Justin Timberlake had too much to drink. Right. And he, uh, huh? We didn't tell y'all to stay off that Henny. We told the black people to stay off the Henny. Now we got to tell the white people to stay off the Henny and stop driving. Yeah, I mean, on our uh, last uh, uh, video I did about uh, Tiffany Henyard, somebody called me a racist. <laughs> so I said, well, let's do this white boy. Maybe we won't be a racist then. All right, hang tight. I'm going to get this video. Well, we're going to show you the video. Let you look at that, that some of the video. We will come back and respond to it. How about that? Now we got this from NBC News and also TMZ also reported on it. So they got part of the story from TMZ also. Now, I already told y'all, stay off the dark liquor. Let's play the video. Mm -hmm. Breaking news right now about Justin Timberlake. Authorities say the Grammy Award winning singer has been arrested and is facing at least one charge of driving while intoxicated. It happened last night on New York's Long Island. TMZ is reporting that Timberlake was just arraigned and released without bail, but NBC News has not officially confirmed that detail. Baker Machado joins me now. He's a TV personality and host of the Baker Show podcast. Baker, thanks for being here. So walk us through what happened in the Hamptons. Yeah, a lot happening last night. Thank you. Good to see you. As you mentioned, Justin Timberlake arraigned uh, earlier with uh, just within the last little bit in a Hamptons courtroom in Sag Harbor uh, and was released without bail. Now, he was arrested last night. Now look at that. Oh, he was released without bail. Only in America. Yeah, if you just intimidate. And? And you got money. And? And you uh, don't have a melanin in your skin. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> released without bail. And then to find out his court date, he might not even have to attend it. Well, a lot of people don't attend the DWIs. You don't have to attend. Your lawyer can attend for okay, you. Okay, I got So it. that's nothing special. OJT now confirms he has black in him. No. <laughs> Why? Because he got a DWI? <laughs> he, did, he did a black person move. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that ain't no black person move. That's a... That's a Substance abuse move. <laughs> so that's what you call it. it. Ain't what I'm calling it. I mean, you know, p people just don't learn. You can't be a you ain't guzzle down liquor then or drugs or whatever he was doing. Then get in a car and try to drive. Now, nah, now, nah, this Uncle Ruckus, that nigga is guilty. Well, you know, sometimes when you, when you high, you think you can drive good. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I used to think I could do. <laughs> right. Yeah, but you know, I, I gave up my evil sinful ways long time ago. I was twenty one. Uh yeah. I hope you don't. Yeah, I sometimes I drove home, I don't know how I got home. Uh a lot of times I wake up I'm still in the car. I'm like, what? <laughs> hey. Hmm. Oh. I'll play some more. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. I don't recommend that, and I don't uh, condone that kind of behavior. Only America. You don't. Don't have to pay no bill and get out. Well. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I'll play some more. And photographs are just now coming out online of him leaving that courtroom. And as you mentioned, TMZ is reporting he was just charged with one count of driving while intoxicated. And he was also cited for two additional traffic violations, running a stop sign and failure to keep in his lane. TMZ also reporting that there's body camera footage of this incident as well. Now, he has a court date, Vicky, scheduled for July the 26th. Reportedly, he does not have to attend that court date. But a source close to Timberlake uh, is telling NBC News that he 
he had dined at the celebrity-friendly American Hotel in Sag Harbor last night with friends. He then headed to a friend's house in his car when he was pulled over by police. Now, TMZ is saying that he failed a sobriety test right after he was pulled over. No, that's not true. TMZ said he didn't. He refused the sobriety. He, he, refu he uh, refused the breathalyzer. Yeah, he refused it. Well, and, and my thing is, you dining with friends, if they were your friends, they wouldn't let you get in the car driving drunk. That's true. And then uh, TMC said after he got pulled over, his friends showed up and tried to get the cops to give him a break. Give him special treatment. They tell me, you yeah, want them to give him a break so he can go home. Yeah, that's special treatment. Now, why didn't, why didn't you drive his car? Mm -hmm. He he pulled a he pulled a Tiffany uh had his move. I know, but he was with friends. So why didn't they say, "Come on, man, I drive the car. You get over there." Some friends didn't they go come and try to beg the cop to let you go after they let you get in the car. You can kill yourself and somebody else. He got friends in high places, uh, low whiskey, places. Uh, got friends in low and high places, but they low places where the whiskey flows. And the beer chase. Mm. <laughs> they 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 not they weren't really his friends. If they were really his friends, they wouldn't have let him. Do, they wouldn't have, uh, let him do that. Is that right? <laughs> you you know the what could happen to him? Get yeah. all get in a wreck, get all deformed, messed up, die, kill a family. I mean, yep, that's true. And you gonna let him out there driving? That's. Yep. I mean, even though he's probably talking about, man, I'm good, I'm good. They should know. Friends would say no, no. I mean, he was going to a friend's house, so the friend that house he was going to, why didn't they drive the car? You would think so. Uh -huh. Old, old baby face, JT look like the son of George Michael. I mean, people just <laughs> people will never learn. People will never learn. That's why they always gonna be tragedies out here on the highway. You you never know. Let's get back to the video. Now, Vicky, he is in the middle of a very lengthy U.S. tour right now. He was set, he's set to play in Chicago on Friday and Saturday before coming back to Madison Square Garden on Tuesday and uh, Wednesday of uh, next week. No word on if this is going to impact that tour schedule whatsoever. Very interesting. Uh, have you heard anything from Timberlake or any of his representatives at this point? And do we know, was this alcohol or is it unclear so far what this driving while intoxicated involves? It's unclear at this moment. We haven't been able to confirm. NBC hasn't been able to confirm what exactly he was under the influence of. Uh, DWIs tend to include a bunch of different cases inside of that, so we don't know what substance particular it was in, and he hasn't commented on this whatsoever, but he has talked in the past about substance abuse problems in his past, even doing an interview with Oprah Winfrey back in 2014 where he talked about alcohol-related issues as well. Uh, we should also note his wife, uh, Jessica Beale, is in New York City right now filming a television show right now, and he has hired a very big celebrity attorney in the Hamptons named Ed Burke Jr. who is going to be representing him throughout all of this. All right, much more to come. Mm, oh, JT. Why at the time everybody get famous, they can't handle the alcohol? Well, he couldn't handle the alcohol before. Well, he was famous then. Uh, do you know how long he been drinking? That's true. And so, you know, it ain't, when you get famous, you can't handle it. You, you can't nobody handle alcohol. Nobody. You can if you don't drink it. But there you go. Look, we're telling people <laughs> drink it. Can't can't nobody handle alcohol. You can't you can't drink like a fish and then get think you gonna be normal and you can drive. Is that all right? I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean one one the. YouTuber I used to watch, I still watch her, Can she don't, she don't come on too much. Uh, her and her husband and her two kids were leaving a restaurant and they encountered a drunk driver and, and they wrecked. They almost killed her. She was all messed up. Killed her husband instantly. Almost killed her two children. Drunk driver. Mm -hmm. There was Tiffany Haddish. Then there was Glorilla. Glorilla. <laughs> And then now there's JT. He can't he can't handle the liquor. What, I mean, can't nobody handle liquor. What, what kind of you think they're drinking? A henny? Is it henny? <laughs> Drunk off the patrol? Got him in the zone? 
Wow. <laughs> Blame it on the al- al- alcohol. And the goose got them loose. <laughs> the goose got them loose. Wow. I mean, that's a shame. I, I wish people wouldn't do that. I, I really wish people uh, would stop drinking and driving. I mean, now we got Uber and Lyft and all that. I mean, come on. That's true. If you, if you go to, if you know you're going to go out and party and hearty and have a good time, just get Uber right. or Lyft and yeah. go do your thing and then be safe and leave other people alone. Now let's play um, JT's theme song. And this is his son when he got pulled over. This is probably what he told the police. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, really. That's why I probably told the police. Really? Told, <laughs> really? <laughs> but John got him in the zone. Wow. The goose got him loose. Well, I'm glad he was stopped before he had a chance to hurt somebody. Yeah, that's true. But he said he was running stop with signs and all that mm-hmm. stuff. It was just a matter of time. But he ran into somebody. He couldn't stay in his lane. So it, it's just a matter of time before he met somebody and killed him. That's true. And, and you, isn't it funny how the drunk never die? It's a rare occasion the drunk dies. Or get hurt. Yeah. Remember, one time the drunk hit my brother and his SUV rolled over and the drunk died. That was well, one rare occasion. Yeah, that was a, a very rare. Well, he, yeah. yeah the, I forgot. About, I forgot about that. Yeah, he, he lived, but the drunk died. He was high on alcohol and cocaine. He was feeling, and it was uh, what about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, in a Mustang. Hot diggly. <laughs> party, party, party! White boy wasted. Yeah, I mean, I mean. He, he the, the other person could have died too. Yeah, but he got lucky and lived. And uh, you you rolling down the highway. You, you rolling down the highway in a SUV flipping <laughs> over. <laughs> I mean, didn't get it, no, that, that wasn't nothing but God. Didn't get no marks on her or nothing. Well, the, the forehead. Well, yeah, forehead got forehead. That 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 was that was nothing but God. Stay off the henny and the patron. And I tell you. Well, until next time, people. Uh, stay sober. Get Uber. Get Lyft. Come on now, stop this. Stop this madness. You could, you know, you can't drive when you're drunk. Stop that madness. Well, we out, people. <laughs>